All right, new tonight at 10, we've learned there's a third case of flesh-eating bacteria with ties to Georgia. A landscaper from Cartersville is in critical condition at Doctors Hospital in Augusta, battling the potentially deadly disease. That is the same place where University of West Georgia graduate student Amy Copeland is being treated, and a Piedmont, South Carolina mother is also fighting the infection in Greenville, days after giving birth here in Atlanta at Emory University Hospital Midtown. The new flesh-eating bacteria case involves a man named Bobby Vaughn. He apparently got a gash while on the job two weeks ago and has been fighting for his life ever since. And Fox 5's Deidre Dukes is just back from Bartow County. She has more on his story. Deidre. Bobby Vaughn's family says he became ill within hours of being injured on the job. He has undergone several surgeries as the bacterial infection spread from his abdomen to his back. An agonizing time for Amanda Nicholson and her two children. Nicholson's ex-husband, Bobby Vaughn, has been hospitalized for two weeks with a flesh-eating bacteria. He's in the same Augusta hospital as Amy Copeland, the desperately ill University of West Georgia college student. He's worried. Of course, everybody's worried. The Cartersville landscaper was injured at work when he fell from a tree two weeks ago today and suffered a cut to his side. He got a cut on his side and took him to the hospital. My son said he was throwing up and took him to the hospital. They um, treated him. He chose to leave. Got up the next morning and it had spread. Nicholson says Vaughn spent a week at Cartersville Medical Center. She says the infection quickly spread from his abdomen to his back. He was eventually transferred to doctor's hospital in Augusta. It was kind of scary at first because we, for some reason, it was like every two days when they would go to check it, it was spreading still. So they finally, that's when they sent him to Augusta. Nicholson says Vaughn's undergone five surgeries as doctors removed nearly two pounds of infected tissue. Now Vaughn's family says he is ready to come home. He's made progress and doctors have stopped the infection from spreading, but he is still a very sick man and they have no idea when he will be released from the hospital. Amanda? All right, thank you very much, Deidre.